Everybody who's paying attention knows that free speech is no longer valued on American campuses. Being politically incorrect, or to be more precise, daring to disagree with the progressive agenda can get you in trouble, whether you're a student or a professor. Despite this undeniable reality, university administrators still portray their schools as places where free speech is honored. But this pretense is wearing thin. Don't take it from me. Just listen to what prominent left-wing professors say. Catherine McKinnon of the University of Michigan complains that free speech reinforces and amplifies injustice. She said, Once a defense of the powerless, the First Amendment over the last hundred years has mainly become a weapon of the powerful. Lewis Michael Seidman, a professor at Georgetown, wrote in the Washington Post, What I have come to see is that it's a mistake to think of free speech as an effective means to accomplish a more just society. For Seidman and other progressives, government exists to correct unjust distributions produced by the market and to dismantle power hierarchies based on traits like race, nationality, gender, class, and sexual orientation. Seidman argues that a government that exists to protect individual liberties is antagonistic to the goals of redistribution and identity politics. At its core, he said, free speech law entrenches a social view at war with key progressive objectives. These professors aren't some rare exceptions out of step with the majority view in academia. They are becoming the norm, and they pose an immediate threat to our tradition of free speech, teaching an entire generation of students the lie that freedom is oppressive instead of liberating. That's why Alliance Defending Freedom fights for the free speech rights of all Americans. It has won over 400 cases against public universities that silence people whose opinions they don't like. Students at Fresno State University who received advanced permission to chalk pro-life messages on campus sidewalks had their messages erased by a professor who said that colleges are not a place for free speech. A student in Georgia who shared his faith in a designated speech zone was silenced by university police who said that his speech was disruptive. Why? Because others said they felt offended. Bunker Hill Community College threatened to arrest students for passing out literature that had not been approved in advance. What was this controversial literature that got students threatened with arrest? The U.S. Constitution. You couldn't make this stuff up. Let's ask ourselves a serious question. Do we really believe in free speech for everyone? Do we really believe that people whose views may differ from ours still have a right to share those views? There is an old saying, I disapprove of what you say, but I will defend to the death your right to say it. That idea, since America's founding, has been central to this country's ideals. Freedom of speech is the right of every American. Free speech, rightly practiced, teaches us to think critically, to vigorously defend our ideas, and at the same time, to be considerate of others whose creeds and convictions differ from our own. In the American free speech tradition, is rightly grounded in the belief that the answer to speech we disagree with is never censorship, but more speech. But on American campuses and in college classrooms, all too often, students are taught something else. That traditional free speech is a tool of oppression and that only those who agree with progressive views may speak freely. If our future leaders are being educated at places that preach such a dangerous message, it's fair to ask, How much longer can freedom last?